blueprint essentially of how to carve out character. And I think what I mean by character is, um, it's the experiences, the accumulation of experiences that make you who you are. And undoubtedly the most difficult things um, are what really define and cement and carve out your character, but also solidify your identity. Because I think when you bring yourself to a point where you're at your loneliest, when you're most defeated, when you're most doubtful, that is when you can really say you know who you are. All right, because those are some of the most difficult times. Um, it could be heartbreak. It could be a failed uh, endeavor. Um, things of that nature. Those feelings of loneliness are ultimately the most difficult to overcome because they bring who you are into doubt, right? When things are good, you don't question yourself. It's when things are bad that you start to wonder, is it because of who I am or how I've conducted myself? And you start to doubt every single little uh, minuscule uh, decision that you make. It, everything starts to be magnified. And I think that's where you have to understand if you want to carve out your character, you need to be able to uh, not doubt yourself in those moments, right? Because that's when you need to most be assured of who you are. And I think that is the, the first point I'm trying to get to is that you need to do the hard things. If you really want to carve out your character, you need to be able to get through hard and difficult circumstances and decisions. Undoubtedly, that is one of the main things that I've noticed like I, that have made me who I am is that all the experiences, the accumulation of all the setbacks, all that has really allowed me to carve out a certain amount of character that when I know that I get into dif difficult circumstances and situations, I can always tap back into because I have evidence. I have a Rolodex of uh, memories that I can go back to and say, oh, I've done this before. I've been in this situation before. I know what this is like. I know I can get through it. I know it's temporary and I know that I'm gonna learn something from it. So that is the main one is doing hard things. The other one that I've decided that has really helped me carve out my character is to laugh a lot. Because what happens is when things get uh, difficult, when, when circumstances um, suck, is that you're either gonna cry or you're gonna laugh. And I have always opted for the, 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 the path of laughing. So for me, I, I would much rather laugh about my mis misfortunes than to cry about them. Um, that's been a very medicinal sort of thing for me is, is to laugh, laugh when things go wrong, um, or look back and laugh at certain things that I thought at the time were super serious. Um, the other one is to fail often. Um, people try to always, um, uh, go with their strengths, but I think making the mistake of avoiding failure is really the, a weak point. A weak point for a lot of people so you need to be comfortable with failure there's a lot of lessons to be had in failing and in um, understanding where it is that your your weak points are so failure teaches you a lot more than than winning does um, and 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 believe me like it, it does you know the self-doubt does creep in because you're like man why is it that I'm always uh, failing at things why but then there's so much lessons to be had in failure. So so do as many things as you can, try as many things as you can, and see see what you learn about yourself in the process. And, and failure is a, is a big one for me. Uh, uh, going on to failure is also like making mistakes. Um, that's how that's another way to learn, right? It's another way to to learn who you really are, right? Is making decisions and making mistakes and learning from those mistakes. Um, and, and, and doing an honest appraisal with yourself about what it means, you know, what, what, what making those certain decisions, like where did that come from and how, how do you, how do you move, uh, better from there? The other thing is, is momentum. You need to, it's like the whole idea of like the Matthew effect, right? Like as you go down, you, you steadily, you know, go down even more. So if you're a couch potato, it's really hard to move from there. Right. But as soon as you start. You, you take one step and then the other step is easier. It's like, that's the whole idea of momentum is that you need to just constantly be moving in a certain direction, even whether it's up or down, but as long as you're moving. Um, like I say, staying still, being a couch potato in this case, right, ab metaphor, is that nothing is gonna happen from your couch, right? Nothing. 
the other thing is is energy right finding energy finding things that bring you energy that will give you energy um to 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 move forward to keep moving um and i'm telling you this from the perspective of somebody that is extremely lazy i don't know anybody that's more lazy than me that where laying around comes a lot more easier for me loafing is probably my greatest asset and so i understand that fully about myself and so for me it, i have to force myself every day to move right to, to find the energy to keep going because i could stay still and and really that would be my default that would be the easiest thing for me to do and so that's like the fear for me is like is is the feeling that am i doing enough uh and that keeps me moving right is that fear so whatever works for you but i think all these all these mechanisms that i've mentioned are all part of carving out a character carving out character um and making you who you are and uh like i said it's it's more of a blueprint right it's not like one two three but these are all things these are all lessons that i've learned um in my own experience and so just get out there have a little fun kick up a little dust um uh, make some mistakes get embarrassed um you know don't don't feel sorry for yourself and then realize like everything is a learning experience we're all we're all trying to be out there um you know experiencing the world and so the only way to really feel everything is to really get out there and and do that right and so don't hesitate to share your your energy with the world okay see you in the next one